Hey, 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 hey. It's your favorite guy, Brian O'Shea. Well, uh, we got a beautiful scene here. Let's go check it out. All right, like I said, we got a beautiful scene here. We got rolling hills. We got a dam type situation. See, I'm, I'm a big fan of dams. Dam, dams. Uh, you know, stopping the flow of water like that. But uh, see, I'm up on top of this this hill here, and there's a bunch of rolling hills. There was a little cave that I was sitting in, twisted up a doobie. Um, yeah, I walked up this thing. It was very steep. This thing's very steep on all sides. It's like a little scary. To go rolling down the hill or something. Um, the wind is kicking up. Might be hard to hear. But yeah, it's a very beautiful spot. Uh, I found it on all trails. Um, not a big fan of apps, but whatever. You know, technology. You know, I'm not a fan of GPS, but I do it. I, I GPS way too much. I should be like writing down directions. You guys get it. I'm rambling. Just wanted to make a little something for you. Um, just a little something because I'm not going live. I don't have a thousand views to go live on mobile. I don't have my laptop with me on this hike. But I did want to go live this morning. I was embarrassed about my getting drunk last night. Whatever. That's that's the thing with drinking, though, man. At any second, I could I could fucking black out and be up to anything, bro. And you could make a decision. You could end up in jail or fucking make some crazy blackout decision. So, man, fucking alcohol, though. And then it kicks my ass. I was throwing up and shit. Fuck. But uh, now I got I got a doobie twisted up. I'm feeling better. The weed thing has been weird because I've been slacking. I feel like on comedy. Uh, I've been slacking on Paul's uh, show, like being a contributor, being a part of the show. Um, but I am working uh, in the midst of this, so that's good. I got some got some money coming in, got some jobs. Uh, so yeah, I'll just have to figure out maybe some of the, the timing of these jobs, and set set my availability so I can get some sort of routine going. Maybe you know, get the comedy thing going, get Paul's show going my stuff going my channel my you know a lot a lot going on a lot could be done and uh and uh you know and, and i i just want to have a heart to heart with people because i feel the care from other people you know they, what they say comfort the, the afflicted and afflict the comfortable maybe it's when people are comfortable that's when you got to kind of prod them and when they're when they're when they're afflicted you comfort you know so you know people people have been doing you know expressing that type of care for me you know what i mean they've been showing care and uh comforting me when i'm low and that's what i, I just want this message to be out there man if anyone's going through anything just know that there's there, there's care there's caring people out here you know what i mean we could find it and uh i don't know what it is about this new day new year but it seems like there's there's good vibes in the midst of this craziness you know it's a nice little test to see what we're made of um even though the test can be very, very ugly and very, very painful, uh, there's a beauty to it. If we, uh, we can rise to the occasion and uh, have meaning and purpose, you know, and uh, that's what I'm learning. What is my meaning? What what, what means a lot to me? And what what I feel like is my purpose? Um, and the lost stuff, you know, being able to be be more free, being able to travel freely, that is something I'm really into. And I'm also into like uh i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm also into like you know these mountains and these hills and these these landforms and the and the and the and the, and the, and the, the uh heaven on earth type stuff you know what i mean because like in my travels i'm having a hard time like traveling in a vehicle and sleeping in a vehicle you know without getting arrested or harassed or woken up in the middle of the night it's just like who are these people waking me up and what is happening why i can't even McDonald's like I have to like ask for permission to be in a McDonald's parking lot like can I please sleep in your Walmart parking lot when there's fucking when the earth is my home when whatever I'm standing on right now is probably with all these rocks it's probably some glorious structure buildings just everywhere and here I am begging basically begging just like when a cop you're pleading please can I be free please can I sleep in my car in a walmart parking lot like that is the, the most disgraceful disgusting the state that's what i'm talking about the painful part of the world it's like 
I can't, there's like all this beauty I just showed you, I can't sleep on this ground somewhere near this water. Just, I can't hop. I mean, there are tents in here in California, but it's, I think you guys understand what I'm, the point that I'm getting to. Um, yeah, what's the meaning and purpose? Yeah, meaning and purpose and caring for one another and heart to heart type talks. I want to get better at heart to heart communication. Heart speaking from the heart, you know, because um, there's there's mind there's mind communication, right, and then there's heart communication. Uh, I've seen some results with a cop recently when I when I turned on the heart to heart thing, and I when I didn't turn on the heart to heart thing, I ended up getting a ticket. So it might be something to that. It's just two my last two encounters with a cop. One time I turned on the heart to heart. He wanted to give me a ticket, didn't get a ticket. All the time, this night, last time, I didn't turn on really any heart to heart, and ended up with a ticket. So it's just something to think about. Like, what does it mean to turn on the heart to heart? It's like when the cop started doing his thing, you know, raising his voice. You know, good cop, bad cop. The other cop was just being the rookie nerd, and the other guy's like, "You didn't hear what he said, blah blah." blah. And so I held my cool, but I could have like, I could have done something different. I could have gone heart to heart there and just be like, "Look, man." You know, Whatever's gonna happen, if I, yeah, if you do end up towing my car, because that's what you're just trying to threaten, I'm gonna tow your car, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I could have been like, yeah, I don't know how this is all gonna play out, but I just wanna let you know this. This is how I feel about this. You know what I mean? So, and it's tough, these interactions with cops, because it's like, how much am I trying to, you know, do I wanna teach them? How much do I wanna interact with them? Like, how much do I wanna even give them my heart? Like, you know how much of it is necessary because but it is uh i guess it's just necessary things that have to happen these conversations even though they're not comfortable and it's not, and it's not going to work out and sometimes I, my property is either going to take in or i am going to get arrested but i guess it's that's the whole that's the meaning and purpose of this shit being willing to go through all that you know what i mean and uh just for doing what's right and so so those yeah so that's what i because i'm not really surfing the web, like YouTube, like just any videos, like even the recommendations, I'm really dialed in on like, if it's like the stuff Paul show, the legal stuff, or this uh, landscape, mount, uh, mountains or melted buildings type stuff. And there's just probably, there's something intertwined there. You know what I mean? Um, there's something, something going on. There's some, there's some sort of connection there. I haven't really been able to bring it up on Paul's show too much, but... Uh, this is my channel, so I don't have to keep talking about Paul, but I do feel like I am part of that show, so it is a little different. I feel like I have, you know, a few different roles there. Producer, co-host, you know, content, you know, bringing content, encouraging people to come up on the show, couples or whatever it is, family, so. But yeah, this video's gotten real long. This video's eight minutes. I just wanted to make something quick. I can't go live just to give you guys something. I haven't made something in a few days. But I do love you all, for real, man. Like, heart... You know, and I said that in a song before, my heart to your heart, for real. Like, that type of communication, I think, is going to be so valuable. So if you're going through anything, hey, just know, man. Just know I'm, I'm sending good, good, good heart energy to you. Good, because the heart is like a caring, it's a feminine energy, right? we got our crown chakra, which could be the masculine, the gate to heaven. Then you got the, the heart chakra, which is the key to that gate. You know, the softer, the loving, the caring, all that stuff, so... Yeah, uh, if, anyone's, if anyone's lonely, like, I'm probably going to, I want to meet a nice girl and just spend some time with her here soon, so that'll probably end up happening soon enough, but as long as I stay focused on meeting and purpose, and let that sort of be like a byproduct, maybe, you know what I mean, instead of, like, having the girl, like, be the meeting and focus with it, I'm trying to get the girl when I could just have it be a natural byproduct of, of uh, you know, having, having substance, you know, instead of a substance abuse problem, all style, no substance, you know, you know, maybe I can have a lot of substance, you know, a lot of substance to what's going on in my life. So I'm rambling, I'm rambling. Uh, I do want to wrap up and say that if you are going through anything, the highs and the lows, like let's share it, let's share it heart to heart, the good and the bad. Let's look out for one another. I need to be remind, reminded of that throughout my day. How could I, how could I, how could I use my heart more? My little, my little circles, my, wherever I travel, whoever I interact with, like how can I bring bring heart into the situation? You know what I mean? In the crown shop. You know what I mean?
and all the chakras and all the good stuff and all the good energies and the cymatics and the frequencies. You guys know what we're talking about. You guys are good people, smart people. I love you. Patriot Wives, Marika, what's up? Michelle Moretti, Riel, all you beautiful women, Gypsy, and all you goofy, goofy men out there, all you weird, weirdos, yurt, yurt, in a yurt with books, Gimp, fucking Illumitami, Paul, Wizard, all my homies, all the people in my life. All right, I'm gonna shut up. I love you guys. See you later. Peace, peace, love, peace.